Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving, we had been solving math problems just a few days ago, two, three days ago. We finished doing all the math problems that you find in this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. As I just said, we finished about three days ago. Today is our lesson number four or lesson number five. So about five days ago, we finished doing all the math problems that you will find from day number one through 50. If you need help with math, I know you're not here for math. We are here for vocabulary. But if you're weak in, health, uh, weak in math and if you need some help with any of the math problems, we have solved every single math problem from this book and you will find all of them from day one through 50. Similarly, if you need even more help, the math on the T's, as I pointed out in the videos, is very similar to the, what you will encounter on HESI, and there are 80 videos there that you can avail yourself. Right now, we are not here for math, as I said. We are here to improve our vocabulary. We are in the process of learning the words that you will find in Chapter 3 of the vocabulary, of the, of the vocabulary in this book. And we are right now at word number 20. And the word is cavity. The word is cavity. Yeah. Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. Cavity. Cavil. Cavity. So now, and of course the plural will simply be, plural will simply be cavities, which as you know, as I say, simply means a hollow or an open space cavity simple word straightforward word but we have to do it because it's there let's go to the next one number 21 What does it mean to cease? It's a verb which means to it means to to put to put an end to something to end something to stop something to stop something to discontinue something to discontinue something Do you understand? to cease. Usually in the in the when there is a conflict between two parties, once in a while in the media one hears of one hears of a temporary a temporary ceasefire. Temporary ceasefire means uh, they have they have agreed to stop firing at each other. So they can go ahead and have a nice nice lunch. They should be shake hands and say, alright, we'll meet at 2 o'clock, you have a nice lunch, I'll have a nice lunch, we'll come back at 2 o'clock and start shooting at each other, each other again in 4 hours. It's a ceasefire. Ceasefire means to stop. A cease means to stop. What does this word mean? Ceaseless. What does it mean, ceaseless? Ceaseless means exactly what it says, because it has the suffix of less than it. Ceaseless means non-stop. Non-stop or endless. You see? End and then endless. Ceaseless, ceaseless, endless. What's the adverb of it? The adverb would be... Adverb would be... Ceaselessly, ceaselessly, just like endlessly. The adverb of endless would be endlessly. The noise has been going on ceaselessly. 
my next door neighbor is doing some renovation and the noise has been going on for last two weeks ceaselessly, non-stop, continuously, all the time. The dog, my neighbor's dog, the dog has been barking has been barking ceaselessly. The dog has been barking ceaselessly, non-stop. It does not, the bloody thing does not stop barking. He barks all the time. The barking is ceaseless. He has been barking ceaselessly. He has been barking incessantly. He has been barking incessantly. simply means to continue without interruption. To continue without interruption means to go on, to go on, to go on continuously. I'm not sure how to spell continuously, so you 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 we will check the spelling continuously. The dog has been barking incessantly. Make him stop barking. He's driving me crazy. His incessant barking is giving me a migraine. You understand? I'm sick of that. My neighbor's stereo is on. My neighbor's stereo is always on. I am sick. I am sick of that. I am sick of that incessant. Din. I'm sick of that incessant din. It's a noun. It simply means loud noise. A din is a loud noise, as in, as in. As in infernal din, when people find something very annoying, sometimes they refer to it as a noise that is very annoying, they refer to it as infernal din, the noise from hell, the hellish sound, the hellish barking, the incessant barking of that bloody dog is giving me a migraine. Stop that infernal din. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.